just walking up Sugarloaf track, not far from the Rootburn turn off, and uh, yeah, quite a bit of wind coming and going in the trees. Makes me a bit worried about the prospect of flying. It's now 11 o'clock. It took pretty much exactly two hours to get up here, going pretty fast. Just a short break at Bushline. Just been watching a bird circling there to spot all this high cloud, so probably should get ready to launch. It's been pretty light in here. I don't know if it's just because it's sheltered or because it's uh, not as windy as it was below. Yeah, it was light on launch but low at the inversion line. It's quite a bit of wind, like 20 30 k's over the pass. And in the air there's definitely something going on with stuff coming over from in front of me. Somnus that I was originally looking at climbing today. Turn the car around. Before I throw the reserve. Paraglider Rootburn Car Park coming down under Reserve Parachute. Reserve Parachute Rootburn Car Park will be landing in the trees. Can you see me? Oh well, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just gonna let the guys on the radio know I'm okay. I've safely, uh... well, I don't know yet, but just, Glenorchy air traffic. Uh, paraglider has landed in the trees. I've safely secured myself to the tree and um, I'm gonna figure out how to get down off the tree from here. Yeah, I've secured myself to the trunk and I'll figure out what to do from here. I'll stay on radio, I guess. 3477. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, let him know I'm on channel 33 and he'll be able to talk to me on that from the route burn car park or wherever. Okay mate, what was your name? Nick. Okay mate, we'll probably uh, we'll get a call out very shortly. Great, thanks guys, heaps. Are you guys Dutch, are you? Yeah, we are. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't normally happen. Coming down here, I just slid down this with my arms around. It wasn't too bad. This is a bit big for my arms. Really thick, isn't it? Yeah. My right foot lower. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay.
Oh wow, well, that was excellent in the end. So the boys have arrived. Give me a hand. This is the tree. And it's actually pretty high. You can just see the glider right up there. So I've just made my first protection here. That's a bit dodgy actually. Um, yeah, this ideally would be a bit longer. Here we go. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I'm doing it now, yeah. That's the important thing. Oh, like a koala! That's kind of the branch I need to not break. Right. Just clip myself in. And yeah, there's plenty of wind around. And it's actually moving around quite a bit up here. Oh. Yeah, nice tree this one. Oh no! Sorry, Glider! And it went boom, 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 slow motion and then hit the ground to a little cheer. Woo! Oh, God. Tree search. <laughs> That's good, eh? Hey? Thanks, guys. <laughs> so you don't want to climb? Fuck you, there's a little bit of hair rains in getting up there for you. Yeah, it was some. Um, a little bit uh, wobbly up the top. Oh, fuck it, yeah. It was more wobbly than before because the wind's picked up. Oh, fuck, and that <laughs> lean out to the um, branch was about yeah. fucking. I think I had a sling on the one you're talking about, but yeah. Oh, like a koala! So I've just had a look at the footage and uh, yeah, pretty remarkable how it all turned out. Hopefully that glider's fine, I haven't checked it yet. And yeah, pretty windy day down here. But as I was saying, uh, I've never had it happen before. But it's happened so quickly without me being able to react. And into such a... You know, like the line over was like, I don't know if I could have fixed that. So, pretty unusual thing to happen. But apart from it happening, everything turned out really well. <laughs>